Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. Oh, hi. Yeah, let's see what you Coffee think about Coffee and brown sugar. Ooh. Whoa. What? Oh, I might get you on this one. No, you won't. Don't be looking at the shelves either. I'm not looking at the shelves, but I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because I got the same note when we opened it. <clears throat> I don't think you got this. I'm pretty sure I got you. Uh-uh. Mm, yep. <laughs> Quick guess, try to make yourself look smart. What? Quick guess, make yourself look smart. The one that Michael gave us. That oh, has brown be sugar. Surprised. It has brown sugar. Brown, it smelled like brown sugar. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh. I don't know. You hide stuff. Well, so. you're wrong. <laughs> anyway, this smells phenomenal. Phenomenal? Phenomenal. Well, it smells like, pH. like a reason. We just had some the other day. I love reasons. It smells like that. Like the caramely stuff, but it also like really heavy brown sugar. My grandma used to have one of those little clay <clears throat> things that you put in your brown sugar, and whenever she would take it out to fill it up, I would always go and moist. smell it. Yeah, yeah, I really liked it. But that's what this smells like. We always did bread. Slightly, yeah. People do bread too, mm. whatever to suck in that moisture. But me, I just let it get hard and I smack it on the counter with my fist. Whatever <laughs> works. I just put it in a Ziploc. Mm. I don't know. There you go. Question of the day, guys. What do you do to keep your brown sugar fresh? This is very predominantly brown sugar. Very slight, nice, very nice coffee. Very good vanilla roll. Man, this smells good. Mm. I'm a little pissed off that mm. I didn't pour myself a glass. You should have. This smells really good. I'm full points. There's nothing on here wow. I'm mad about at all. Okay. Man. <coughs> I inhale. Well, you're supposed to drink it, not inhale it. This is really caramely. Very creamy. Kind of woody. Not very rummy. Hmm. Like, there's a rum tingle, but not, like, weird. I don't, hmm. Brown sugar is definitely there. Rolls right through the palate. There's, like, a, a, you know those little jelly cinnamon? Like, they're, like, like cinnamon gum, like, like spike, spice drops. Yeah. Where they're, like, cinnamon, but they're not, like, hot cinnamon. Mm -hmm. That, I've got that, like, all along the sides of my tongue. This has got it. Mm. <sighs> yeah, that's like super butterscotchy to me. I've got like creamy caramel, like I don't not I've like sweet like Werther's, but like mm, I don't know about that. Maple syrup to me. Man. It's got like it's not super sweet. To me. I don't it think is. I've ever had like a not like palatally sweet that's sweet to you that's super sweet maybe it's because of the notes i get up front are butterscotch and maple syrup to me maybe that's why i think it's super sweet i don't know i have like this and it's not even know. the good maple syrup it's the fake stuff log cabin i don't know what they changed the other like a maple nut goodie yeah 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 i can definitely see that yeah that's what i'm getting on that yeah. I don't know if y'all have had those, but staple in my family growing up, pretty darn good. Um, I'm going to give, I'm going to give it a nine. Wow. I don't know. I wish it was a little bit more rummy, but I'm not like mad at it. You're sure this is a rum? Yes. What Positive. else would it be? Mm, I don't know. Mm. Finish does not stick around very long. Like I've got, I've got like maple that syrup or maple nut goodie sticking around. Mapley, not really maple. It's like a maple nut goodie, but it's not like super mapley to me. It's 
like the sweetness and the, I don't know, that caramely cinnamon to me sticks around. Like the back of my tongue is kind of stinging from the cinnamony mm. thing that I'm getting. But it's not like... We line up a lot on bourbons and stuff, but rums, we always seem to be You and I are opposite. always different. Yeah, because I, I don't enjoy this one too much. Oh. It's okay, but it's not one I love. I like it. Uh, I might give the finish three and a half. Okay. It's not horrible, but it's not long. You tainted me with finishes with bourbon, so I'm a little finicky. Mm -hmm. uh, look, nice pleats. It does look super thick. It's very that's super dark. Very thick, and it's super super dark, like bourbon esque dark. That's darker than bourbon. That's like a, a ECBP right there. That's darker <laughs> than that, I say. Um, really nice, like dark chocolate mahogany color on it. It's very, very pretty. Um, I'm full points for the look. There's nothing I'm mad about by any means. <sighs> All right, you got your guess. I forgot. Like, Michael went to a convention and he brought us the one, and you were gonna buy it. Yeah, it was. I was gonna buy that one. But you said that you were happy you didn't. I was happy I didn't, and you were right. It is Papa's Pilar. I couldn't remember what it was called. <laughs> I was picturing the blonde one that we got, that yeah. pineapple one or whatever. It wasn't pineapple, it was just what their was it? blonde one. It was just rub. blonde? This is the Legacy 2021 edition. I feel this is super sweet. This I don't gets know. mixed reviews, so. What do you get the bottle? It's really cool. It's got like an old I... canteen, like World War II yeah. type of canteen. I love that they put so much detail. This one is really cool. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a sun on it. That's a compass, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's like a sun in the middle. Yeah. And it's got the little chain that holds it on. And, and it's, it's got a screw cap. It does have a screw which cap. Which I'm impressed by because I think that's super cool. But, I mean, it's got like, these are like thick. They're, they're stickers, but they're like thick and they look like copper. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have full points for the bottle. Jeez, you are way up there on this one. Well, I really like this. I was, I liked it a lot more when we first opened it. I liked it and you were kind of on the fence about it. You weren't crazy about it. So it comes with this leather like bag, makes it more of a canteen. Did you know leather, if it's real, if you pinch it, it'll just go back to normal. If it's fake leather, it'll stay pinched. Let's see. That's fake leather. Now I'm going to create some new leather. Yeah, well, I want to see if it was real. Son of a gun. I don't even know if that's a real fact. I saw it on Facebook video once. I don't fact check. I just repeat stuff. Yeah. So you don't know what you're saying now. Pretty sure it. I told Dylan a fact, and then I re realized later it was off the show Shorzy, so it probably wasn't a fact. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take anything off that <laughs> show, honey. I forgot where it was from. But anyways, this, she gave it a 90. Ooh. My thoughts on it are, it is very sweet. I don't know if they're adding a lot of additives to it. Maybe some color. It is super dark. It is finished in rye whiskey barrels. That's the cinnamon that I'm getting the prickly on my tongue. So there is no information anywhere on the web about this, but I will tell you that the distiller for Papa's Pilar is... Ron Call, I think his name is, but his son is the master distiller for, um, what's the one that, they just released their first bourbon. They had the distillery, they had the fake aging, they did the Terra Pure, they were, oh, Green River Distilling, they there we were go. formerly Ozzy Tyler. I was going to say Tyler. Greenbrier, and I'm like, no it's not. <laughs> and... They are making their own rye whiskey. It hasn't come out yet, but with him being a son, I bet you he's getting rye whiskey barrels from them. I don't know if rye whiskey adds to anything. I It might give it a little bit of spice. I can tell you right now that I'm 90% sure that I have not ever gotten like cinnamon like that on a rum. Well, my thing so is... So I feel like that's influenced by the rye somehow. I don't but, think rye barrels really impart that much flavor because rye gets most of its flavor from the barrel. Some of it's the distillate, but rye's not adding much flavor to that barrel. It's the other way around. So it, it can't do too much. Uh, they also use a couple other barrels, but... 
I did my research, but I forgot everything. Typical John. Not even on the spot. So their dark rum is in bourbon, port, and sherry. Let's see what they say. I did my uh, research, but I didn't look at their website. So, in celebration of a legacy so rich and multifaceted, Papa Pilar Rum is releasing its first annual Legacy Edition 2021. This commemorative dark rum blend of nine different ultra premium rums crafted by Papa Pilar master distiller Ron Call is finished in a double Solera process using rye whiskey barrels and Amatillado sherry casks. The dark rum blend boasts, that's cold, thanks for spilling it on me. Personality and creativity with a profoundly smooth and rich finish. Huh. I don't know. This was $80, and every time we went to Total Wine, the same bottle was on the shelf every single time. And I looked, I'm like, they're known to be sweet. I've had them a lot of theirs, and they're all super sweet. Just can't spend 80 bucks on it. Now, if you're a rum purist, I say pass by it. If you're rum, but you like a lot of the sweeter ones, they do get some rum from like Venezuela. Dominican, they get a lot of those sweeter rums. I'd say pick I it really up. like this. If you're a bourbon drinker, I see a lot of good reviews from bourbon drinkers. I've heard dads drinking bourbon say great things about this. You know, I just don't see it. You do though. You gave it. It's a like a like a horchata with espresso in it. I don't know. I just like there's just all kinds of different flavors. Like every time I take a sip of it, I get something different. I think I'm just tainted by good rum, though. I, just, I probably. I'm I mean, not saying it's bad at all. It's just not my cup of tea. It's mine. And it's got a super strong flavor that just reminds me of so much sweetness. I just, yeah. I don't know. I would definitely say if you are not a sweet rum person, do not. If you're up for something different and you kind of want to open up your horizons. And or you have a really tart ginger beer that you want to make a dork and dark and stormy. Dork and with. stormy. You want to make a dork and stormy. I want to make a dork and stormy. Do you want to make a dark and stormy with? It might be good, but I don't really like putting that expensive of a yeah. spirit mix. You know what? Maybe I'll just. I'll still enjoy it. it Thank you, Michael. As always, giving us wonderful. I'm beers. glad one of us loves it. I still like it, but Lindsay loves it. I'll drink it. I don't think. Well, thank you, and there you have it. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.